Hi, welcome to Inspire DIY. My name is Max, and today I want to share with you my experience of using this brand called Hold All Soil Test Kit. Uh, I didn't receive it from them. I purchased it myself from the local Walmart. And the reason why I did that is because I just want to test my own soil. And I've been growing for two years, and it never occurred to me that you know uh, that you probably should test your soil before fertilizing it. Which brings me to my point because I've always been using all-purpose uh, fertilizer without considering what the plants or the soil actually needs. So for instance, uh, a lot of soil, a lot of, sorry, a lot of fertilizer that I've been using is like 20, 20, 20. Whereas something that I noticed personally is that a lot of my plants tend to grow tall, but not producing enough leaves. So that's totally caught my attention because, well, obviously because I'm growing all vegetables, I want to eat the leaves, right? So since there's no leaf, it becomes a problem. And then I researched it up online and then I realized that that might be because my soil lacks phosphorus and maybe have too high on nitrogen. But the way that all these all-purpose fertilizers are designed is so that they just sort of boost everything up. And in some instance where if your soil is really bad, then that might be okay. But in other instances, like in my case, I don't really want higher nitrogen than what I already have in my soil. So which is why I bought this kit to test it out. And it's obvious, honestly really simple to, to read and understand because you see there's this, these caps, I already tested the pH a bunch of times, so I'm not going to do that today, but these caps sort of correspond to uh, different colors of the capsule. So you essentially would be putting these capsules into the, like the powder form into the, cap, the capsule. And um, I already did this ahead too. So basically you want to put one part soil to four to five parts water and you mix it and leave it for at least 30 minutes to uh, 24 hours or so like uh, something like that and then you basically want to add them together and then basically allow the colors to develop after shaking it and you want to read the result and uh, they also said that it's better to read that in direct natural sunlight as opposed to artificial light which is kind of difficult here because we're recording inside but I'll Basically, just do this real quick. I already did this once with my container uh, soil, but I want to also test the in-ground one, which is why I want to show you guys the video as well. And I'm not sponsored by this brand by all means. This is just what I find in my local source. Um, I'm sure every other one works as well. So I'm going to get right into it. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to use the, the droplets that they provide and add this water right into here. You want to add up to about the fourth line of uh, the, what they indicated. I honestly don't think it needs to be exact by all means. Alright, so we're going to give all these a good shake and here we go. So I'll come back after 10 minutes and we'll see how the results are. All right, it's been about 10 minutes and obviously I held this thing and uh, look at the, the next to the sunlight because we're under the artificial light here, which isn't really good for accurate result. And honestly, it's quite surprising because the in-ground soil that I have at, at this home here are very low in nitrogen as well as, as uh, phosphorus, which I kind of suspect, but um, uh, a medium amount of potassium. now. These readings are obviously not like too accurate, so you might be better off if you want like very high accuracy to get a digital uh, soil test meter or something like that. But for me personally, growing at home, it gives me enough indication to what I need to supplement. So in this case, I need a, a, a fertilizer that's pretty decent, has decent amount of nitrogen and phosphorus, which is something very different from my container soil because that one has very high nitrogen and very low phosphorus. So. It, here we see why that the importance of you know doing soil tests as well as why you should might want to avoid all-purpose fertilizer for this reason because you might not know what the uh, you know, your plants need essentially. All right, so here's what I have going on in my backyard. And this is the the section that we just test the soil with. So it's growing pretty decent surprisingly even though they said it's uh, pretty low in some of the nutrients, but overall I'm going to add more fertilizer to this section. 
Anyways, thanks for watching this episode. I hope you have a good day and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.